Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And a world needs light if it's in darkness. And our world is in darkness. Our sinfulness and our selfishness have got in the way of us truly flourishing the way God intended us to. And we see that in politics, just like everywhere else. We look to our leaders for hope and we see people who are just as flawed as we are. Broken promises, power grabs, lack of integrity, lack of grace. But for 2,000 years, the message of Jesus Christ and his kingdom has brought hope to a weary and warring world. And when Jesus said that he had brought God's kingdom to earth, he wasn't just talking about forgiveness of sins. He meant that in him, God was putting all things right again. The kingdom coming to earth meant healing for the sick, reaching out to the marginalized, challenging injustice. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. But Jesus also told his followers, you are the light of the world. He meant that we are the means by which God brings his kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And for more than 40 years, CARE has sought to do just that. We have championed a better story than the one our society has to offer. A story of the intrinsic dignity and value of every human being. A story about what it truly means to offer justice. A story that is rooted in God's word, shaped by the gospel, that offers life and healing and hope for everyone, no matter who you are or what you have done. The 1960s had seen a whole raft of legislation introduced that's altered the course, not always for the best. And Christians suddenly realized, you know, we need to say something, do something about this, make a difference. So tens of thousands of people gathered in Trafalgar Square from all over the country, coach loads, train loads of people. I was there, it was amazing. Yes. People from everywhere, of every age, every denomination, I'll never forget it. When it was all over, people said, well, that was all fine and good. Why don't we, how are we gonna follow this through? And so a charitable trust was set up, which was called the Nationwide Festival. And in 1981, I became its chairman. We decided to change the name and one of our dearest friends came up with the acronym CARE, Christian Action Research and Education. And the rest is history. At its heart, CARE is about presenting biblical truth with grace into the public square. So CARE is the mission agency to UK politics. We exist to faithfully represent what God has said in his word when it comes to human flourishing and human dignity. CARE is a professional charity with researchers and workers and providing the church with the information, providing parliamentarians with the biblical perspective. There's no way a local church would possibly provide the kind of professional research and backup that CARE does. So hopefully we are hands and feet for the local church. I think Christians can be distinctive in two ways. One is in how we do politics, that we passionately believe that we have truth to communicate, but we do so with humility and with graciousness. But we also believe there's a better story to tell as well, that God has a plan for how we can all flourish. We need to share that with everybody. I think Christians have a unique contribution to make to politics by bringing a biblical perspective what does God feel about this legislation? Right throughout the pages of the Bible, we see God's heart for the vulnerable in so many ways. We see it again and again that God is calling his people to be on the side of those who are furthest from justice. And that continues into the New Testament as well, where we see in Christ his willingness to get alongside those who are on the margins, those who are dismissed by society. And at CARE, we seek to reflect the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ by advocating and speaking out, just as God's word commands us, for those who don't have a voice. CARE has broadly three areas of work. First of all, we want to engage the church so that the church is engaged with the issues of today. 
Secondly, we're equipping politicians with a biblical worldview, but also the biblical arguments and perspective on the laws that they're passing. Thirdly, we believe passionately in leadership. So we're investing in tomorrow's leaders who will be leaders of virtue and character. You know, at CARE, we absolutely recognize the value and the importance of local churches, and we seek a dynamic partnership. We want to come alongside you, partner with you in the gospel to make sure that you feel equipped and empowered to take a stand on the big ethical issues of the day. I think God's plan for the church and society is to be His hands, His heart, His feet, His mind, His eyes, and to represent Him and for people to come to see the good works the Christians are doing and glorify God in heaven. CARE does not want to just go into its mission field and it to be a one-way conversation. We want to be partners with the church and therefore come back to the church and tell them what's going on in that mission field, how it will impact their lives. So this is a conversation, a two-way conversation between the church and the public square. CARE has a range of amazing resources to equip and empower you, whether it's sermon outlines, Bible study notes, video content, and also prayer resources too. We have no idea how effective our prayers are, especially when we can be informed about situations. We can pray in a targeted way, believing that God hears us and is going to answer. So when it comes to a Sunday service, we can provide a range of expert speakers who will inform your people of uh, key causes and debates and topics, but also show you what the Bible says about those causes and then lead you to a point of knowing how you can take genuine action on behalf of more vulnerable people. Uh, Care's bread and butter in many ways is to engage and work with politicians. So what we're doing every week is looking at Parliament business and how we can provide briefings and information to politicians to get them to understand and know what the Bible has to say about those topics and issues that they are dealing with. At CARE we care about relationships and over many decades we've cultivated relationships with parliamentarians, with MPs, with Lords and our heart is to equip them and empower them to, to flourish in those chambers to bring legislation that's going to change society. You know MPs have a hard time and the media are hard on them and we forget to realise what ordinary human beings they are and, and we work with them and in the majority of cases they're upstanding people with a servant heart serving their community and it's a real honour to work with them. For politicians we give advice, we produce briefings, we write speeches, we write amendments, anything that we can do to help them flourish in their role but for that bill to be effective and to pass. One of the unique things about CARE is that we have in-house ability to draft pieces of legislation. We can change laws by directly writing and drafting things ourselves. Through its policy work over its 40-year history, CARE has managed to introduce laws and legislation across the United Kingdom when it comes to tackling modern slavery, in particular in Northern Ireland. It has helped to see multiple assisted suicide bills fail to pass. It has been at the very forefront of advocating for age verification when it comes to protecting children and young people from uh, pornographic harm online. It has also helped and been involved in campaigns to prevent Christian freedoms from being undermined by unnecessary legislation. So the leadership programme has been going for 30 years now and it has provided for those last 30 years the most amazing opportunity for young Christians who are interested in going into politics or just into the public square generally um, to give them opportunities to get practical experience, to train them and prepare them for a life in the public square. The primary purpose and goal of the leadership programme is that at the end of 10 months individuals leaving a programme love Jesus more and they have begun to be more like Jesus in the way that they act, behave, and the way that they view the world. Monday to Thursday, all of the grads are in their respective placements, whether it be MPs, peers, or think tank. So sometimes they may be just literally doing a bit of research on something, they might be replying to a constituent, um, but then they might write a speech. So it can range completely. 
Working for a Christian MP and peer has been an absolute blessing to see how they live out their faith so gently, really holding intention, love and truth is a huge encouragement to me. On a Friday, all of the grads spend time together in devotion, getting stuck into the word, learning practically what it looks like to be a leader in the political sphere, and then looking into the theology behind that as well. I know, I'm, I'm never ceased to be amazed listening to the radio or watching television, and I see a, an ambassador, a senior civil servant, a researcher, a founder of a charity, an MP, a member of the Scottish Parliament, and I think, yes, they were on the programme. <laughs> Engaging the church, equipping politicians, and empowering future leaders, they're all key parts of what it looks like to transform society. And you can play your part too by supporting us. You can connect with us, sign up for our mailing lists, follow us on social media, and pass our details on to your friends and family. You can give to us. Every penny of what you give will go towards our work to provide a Christian voice into UK politics. And you can pray for us. Prayer is the lifeblood of our organisation and we firmly believe that when we pray, God listens and lives can be changed. You can connect, you can give and you can pray. And it's our prayer that we might be a light to the world, advocating on behalf of the most vulnerable within our society and through our work, God might bring his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. We care about our nation and all the people in it. I do hope you will join us. <laughs>